The Fox News mole is speaking out. He's dishing all the inside information about Fox News, and it is great. Now, uh, the guy's name, I think it's Joe Muko, if I'm not mistaken, or Muto. And uh, he recorded a bunch of things behind the scenes uh, about a year or so ago. So, for example, he had a clip of Mitt Romney talking to Sean Hannity when they're off the air. They were talking about uh, tennis and dressage horses. I mean, it was hilarious because you saw that in real life, Sean Hannity and Mitt Romney are Thurston Howell III. They embody, like, the 1920s robber barons with, like, top hats. I mean, it, it's, it's awesome. But uh, so what he did here is he explained more in depth what was going on behind the scenes. So just to give you an example of some of the things he talked about, he says every single show at Fox News is basically run by one major personality. Now, sometimes the host is the major personality who calls all the shots, and sometimes it's an executive producer. And all the individual shows have a pretty good amount of autonomy, but he says the main reason for that is because they already know the boundaries and the parameters and what they really can and cannot get away with. And he says Roger Ailes, who of course uh, calls the shots at Fox News, he only does checks and balances on them. So if they cross the line, he'll call the control room. The control room has a phone that goes directly to his office and the people in the control room know anytime the phone rings, it's never anything good. It's never positive reinforcement. And so he'll call up and he'll just decree a rule that uh, a certain show has to abide by. So for example, uh, Bill O'Reilly used to have on Bill Maher fairly uh, regularly, but apparently Roger Ailes didn't like the attacks Bill Maher would do on Sarah Palin, and he got banned from the shows. Now the shows are supposed to refer to him whenever they bring up Bill Maher as Pig Maher. Now, I, uh, to be honest, I can't say I've ever seen a clip on Fox News where they do refer to him as Pig Maher, but I wouldn't be surprised if Roger Ailes actually decreed that. Uh, also, Politico somehow pissed off Roger Ailes, and any uh, people that work at Politico are banned from Fox News, and they're only to be referred to on air as left-wing Politico. Uh, and by the way, that's uh, patently absurd, because Politico is as centrist as centrist can be. They go out of their way to attack both sides equally and give credit to both sides equally. So it just shows you how silly a, a person Roger Ailes is. Now, uh, when he talks about Bill O'Reilly, and most of the article actually uh, centers on Bill O'Reilly because I think he was uh, tasked more often working with O'Reilly than any, anybody else there. So Bill O'Reilly supposedly has the most autonomy of any of the shows, and sometimes he actually pushes back against Roger Ailes. And he says nobody else can really talk back to him, but O'Reilly gets away with it. Sometimes. So, uh, one of the fights they had, O'Reilly had a favorite guest that he always booked, which was a, a black liberal professor, and Ailes tried to ban that guy. What reason, I don't know, uh, he doesn't get into that. But O'Reilly was upset by that, and he argued against Roger Ailes pretty fervently, and it, at, at the end of the day, they actually compromised to have on that professor once a month, uh, and... Uh, O'Reilly uh, supposedly wasn't happy about the compromise. He was really, really mad at Ailes, and uh, that got under his skin. But the biggest thing that I found most interesting was in terms of um, both Sean Hannity and Bill O'Reilly. Now, supposedly, they hate each other. They have a seething hatred for each other, and there was a big fallout in 2008. So when the Great Recession hit, and they were determining whether or not to do this big bailout, um, O'Reilly, on his radio show, started attacking the right-wing talk radio hosts. Uh, he said, quote, Let's get back to this radio, this talk radio stuff. These idiots, I mean, they're misleading you, they're lying to you. They're rich, these guys, with their big cigars. That's a little jab at uh, Rush Limbaugh. All of that, yeah, oh yeah, my private jet. And they're saying, oh no, no bailout. Walk away from these liars, these right-wing liars. Walk away from them. They're not looking out for you. So that same day he did that on his radio show, he was planning on going on uh, his TV show and saying the same thing. And Roger Ailes called wind of it, and he said, Hell no, you're not doing that. Not a chance. Not a chance. And O'Reilly put his foot down. He said, Nope, I'm doing it, because I think this is true. 
So, look, in a weird way, I mean, you got to give credit to uh, O'Reilly. And by the way, I'm not even sure I agree with him about that. I think the bailout, especially the way they did the bailout, was inexcusable. It was a blank check to Wall Street. It's crazy. So, uh, I might not even agree with him on that, but you got to give credit to him for a kind of breaking from the right-wing orthodoxy and, and standing out on his own. Well, uh, Ailes, in a private phone call with O'Reilly, I don't know what he said to him. Maybe he threatened his job. Maybe he didn't. We don't, he, he didn't. We don't know those details. But he backed down. He did talk about, you know, his take on the bailout. But he didn't uh, take a, a, a snub at, or at um, Limbaugh or Hannity like he planned on doing. So on top of that, we also learned that Hannity and Ailes are butt buddies. So they take vacations together. They're up each other's asses. And uh, <laughs> there's... I don't know, man. It's just it, this. This stuff is all is all fascinating to me, and I could just see Hannity and, and Ailes like going on vacation to like the Hamptons, wearing their like sweater vests, uh, like talking about I was inside uh, Kappa whatever some Greek <laughs> fraternity. What were you in? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I loved uh, playing squash when I was in college. And would you like to go on our yacht now? Oh yes, it'll be fantastic. I just see them being the smug assholes they are. 